Okay, this lecture's a little shorter, but it would have been too long for me to connect it to the other lecture. And it, and it does sort of reflect a, a different kind of period. Um, so this is um, the Jacksonian era. Uh, three things we wanna think about here. First is um, this idea of Jacksonian democracy. We'll kind of challenge that idea. There's certainly gonna be more people that are gonna have access to voting, but it's still gonna be white men. Um, we need to get Jackson elected, so we'll start off actually there with the election of 1824, and then we'll talk about these ideas of democracy. Um, uh, we'll create the Democratic Party. The other two things under Jackson's presidency is first the nullification crisis. Again, this is kind of one of those... Um, uh, <laughs> there used to be this magazine I used to subscribe to. It was called The Week. And it had all of the news in the United States and the world for the whole week. And it had this one section called Boring But Important. And it was usually Supreme Court cases <laughs> or laws because um, they're kind of boring when you read about them, but they have pretty consequential um, results. And that's kind of the nullification crisis. Whenever I teach it, I kind of think about that. It's kind of boring, but it's kind of important because um, you'll see it sets up um, the, shows the real power of the executive branch. And again, for us, it's that um, we've got the hindsight to see this is just one more thing that's like moving us towards the Civil War. And then uh, perhaps most importantly with um, the Jacksonian period, and again, kind of the contradictions of democracy is the removal of Native Americans. And so we'll talk about the Trail of Tears, uh, which is the removal, of not just the Cherokee, but of other indigenous nations. Um, they'll be uh, put on a forced march under gunpoint uh, thousands of miles, um, if we put all of the paths together, but it's about uh, 1,500 miles from Force March from Georgia to uh, what is today Oklahoma. And about 4,000 people are gonna die on that forced march. So I've got a couple of uh, good video clips for you that will also further contextualize um, that uh, march. All right, I think that covers those, oh, you know, the last thing I did want to point out about the Trail of Tears, one of the things that I want you to spend a little bit of time with is looking at Jackson's message to Congress and looking at um, the paintings of George, um, Caitlin, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, I'm not sure if it's Caitlin or Catlin, but um, the reason those two things are significant is they, they really kind of show like, what indigenous people were up against at the time kind of is the highlight sort of like popular sentiment and so spend a little bit of time looking at that because as you'll see they're gonna win if you will in the supreme court but the odds are just too stacked against them and you'll see that in jackson's uh, message and in the these paintings okay um kind of a downer note to end on there but i hope that you all are doing all right take care